Merry Christmas, everyone. Well, I hope it's a Merry Christmas. If things go as planned, this video should release on December 24th, Christmas Eve. Why? Because it will have been exactly a year since my last video about the Skyblock Mountain leaderboards. I don't know why I chose to release it on the 24th. That's probably not a good day for metrics, but who cares? Here we go. I took a break. It was a uh, around four to five month break, but it was necessary. I didn't think I could just keep on going like that. Every day I was grinding melons and it just consumed me. Number one just wasn't worth it anymore. Then after the break, I realized Oh, I might actually have a shot at this when I realized how relatively low everyone else's production was. I grinded for maybe another four months before the incident. Okay, I did have a video planned. Probably spent around 50 hours on it, but TLDR, it was lost. After that, I just didn't have the motivation anymore. And after a little break, at around the start of December, I locked back on and my bank maxed out from interest and I was like, oh yeah, it's gamer time. And now you're all caught up. Top 10 is my goal, I think it was my goal from the very beginning. At least a realistic goal. The main reason I'm making this video is to just finalize it all. I, and from what I've read, so do all of you, need closure. A closed book for my first series on this channel and to hit the target date i apologize that this may not be as animated or as detailed or long as usual now for the final chapter of what i now like to call the great melon tussle First and foremost, The Art of War is all about intimidation. I have created and designed the melon empire for this case. It looks better on the inside, I swear. The big part of getting a lot of melons quickly is minions. So getting 29 minions was a goal. I mean, a reasonable goal. I've achieved 29 minions and after doing advanced calculus, I have seen that getting the 30th minion slot will cost over 100 million coins. So that's not really an option, as money is a relatively large issue here. For fuel, hypercatalysts barely make up for their increased output. Yet, yeah, anything that doesn't use crystal fragments, i.e. foul flesh, wouldn't nearly produce enough to give me that leaderboard boost that I need. I am still at a relative lead here, since I assume mostly everyone uses unlimited fuel sources because it's easier. Like plasma buckets, although their max speed is a 35% increase, so even though I may need to use foul flesh every once in a while while I go broke, I'm still doing better than most. Even then though, I usually can't afford to purchase more than 12 hours of hypercatalysts at a time, so I will go a few hours without any fuel. Anyway, that's just the simple set let's get on to more of the advanced strategies. Of course, there's only one optimal minion setup, and if all the top melon farmers have it, then it all boils down to two things, how long you can AFK, and manual farming. I have a five layer farm, which should roughly be infinite if I continually farm, but that's not too impactful. The main tool to my success, the tool that farms the melons, I bring you the ultimate melon dicer. With the best enchantments and reforges, I became even stronger than Vappy Boy. With the proof being in the lost footage, I'm totally better than him, just trust me bro. Anyway, more farming equals win farming contests, win farming contests equals more money, and more money equals win. W wait a minute. Farming contests? I, I don't think I mentioned this before. The farming update came out earlier this year, and with that came a new farming island that allowed you to get tier 12 melon minions. Well, at the cost of you know your soul seriously though you can't pay to win here a tier 12 upgrade costs pelts you can't buy pelts the only way to get them is to talk to this trapper fellow and hunt animals there is a cooldown and you're not guaranteed to find an animal each time but it will take at least an hour to get enough per minion per minion and it is at least an hour likely longer this is an example of why i needed a break and to just not go on for as long as i needed to so Farming update was helpful, but along came the mining update too. I mean, it's just mining, so how can that help with farming minions? Well, I realized you could get a new beacon. I already had beacons on my island, but this one was different. I looked at the wiki page, and when activated it actually increases the output of all the minions on your island. That prompted me to grind mining now, and you need Heart of the Mountain tier 5 to max that out. And that was a lot of grinding for a relative low amount of extra minion output. There was also another item added to the game, Mithril Infusions. They work different from other minion upgrades. You use an anvil to combine them to your minion and it's a permanent speed boost. Although they are pretty expensive, especially if you want to apply to all your minions. I don't mean to brag, but I had the fastest melon minion setup in Hypixel Skyblock. 
Calm down, ladies. I mean, I only have a tier 4 beacon out of a tier 5, but that's like a 1% difference. And, well, there's this one item. A minion upgrade that's not very well known, and if applied, it will give the minion a speed boost. And when I say not very well known, I mean very few people actually use it, and that item is the flycatcher. It gives a small speed boost for an insane price, and you have to grind a lot of spider slayers to actually be able to use it. So someone would have to be insane to buy it. With all of these tips, and with all the top melon farmers using them, it all goes down to the test of endurance. The farming crystal and rabbit pet only work when you're online and on your island, and manually farming melons can help in the long run, so getting a high melon count higher than the rest is going to take a lot of skill, patience, and time. So it may take years to- Oh look, someone just passed everyone and we have a new number one. New account to number one in the same day. That's not suspicious at all. Yep, I feel like I might be dropping out of the race at the right time. I mean, not dropping out, just- taking the victory I can get. At the time of writing, there's been one or two more hackers. They passed everyone, so now they're fighting each other. I mean, there's no way for me to know for sure, but I've come to the same conclusion as the rest of my fellow melon farmers. So going by API, I've made it to number 10. And as I leave, so comes a new age, the age of hackers, as all of them go and take number one in all the collections they can. I just realized that in like all of these videos is just me explaining the mechanics of Skyblock. Anyway, this series is over. At the time of recording, oh man, I'm cutting it close to the deadline. And well, I mean, as I'm talking, uh, I'm recovering from a cold. So I apologize if like these voice recordings aren't very well done as usual.